OptiShox is a new company from the Aftershocks range and they've released bone conduction headphone glasses. But are they as amazing as they sound? Watch on as we discuss. Hey, how's it going? You're watching Iron Will, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. The OptiShocks Revs, or Revs, or however you're supposed to pronounce them, are the newest product from the Aftershocks company. I'm a long-time user of the Aftershocks range of bone conduction headphones. Back in 2017, I think it was, I got my first set of the Aftershocks Trex Titanium, and lately I've been using the Aftershocks Trex Air. Earlier this year I was made aware of an Indiegogo campaign for the new offshoot of Aftershocks, which was OptiShocks, where they put the same bone conduction technology, or very similar, into a set of glasses. Since I've been a long-term user of the Aftershocks range, I went ahead straight away and made a pledge to purchase some. And on Friday, two days ago, they arrived at my office. So how do they work? Well, similar to the other Aftershocks range of headphones, they send vibrations through your skull, through the bones in your skull, and that transmits directly to your inner ear, which means that you don't have to use your ears. Your ears are still open and you can hear other things around you. In this case, the vibrations are sent via the back of the ear. So there's a little transducer pad on the glasses and that goes to the back of your ear and it kind of vibrates the ear itself, which then sends it via the mastoid bone through to your inner ear. So in this case, it looks like that. And then it's on the ear. Now, while the Aftershocks range are fairly discreet, it is still visible that you've got something in front of your ear because their transducer pad is in front of the ear. Versus the OptiShocks, I believe I see them as a little bit more discreet, as long as, you know, wearing glasses is being discreet. They sit behind the ear and it looks pretty much just like the actual arm of the glasses themselves. So people won't realize that you're actually listening to music. The audio from both of these products is pretty similar. Now, as with some other reviews, such as Lou at Unbox Therapy, he mentions that they're not a replacement for headphones. They're not immersive. And no, they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be headphones that leave your ears open for other sounds. And if you aren't putting headphones into your ears, you are gonna sacrifice on the audio since it has to go via vibration you are gonna get less bass. The volume won't be nearly as much as with a dedicated set of headphones. As you increase the volume, the vibrations have to increase and you do get a very odd tickling sensation on the ear. So as I showed before, putting them on is fairly simple. Just put them over your ears and then you have to press the little pad at the back so that it makes contact with your ear. Now that's where one of the little problems comes in is, first of all, if you're doing it one-handed, it is actually a bit hard to push the pads on. And getting the right pressure on the pads themselves is a bit tough as well. Because they're going around onto the back of the ear, it's a little bit of a tougher surface area to actually attach to. And so quite often when I first put them on, I'll find that one ear is a bit louder than the other. And it can take just a little bit of fiddling around to try and get them equal in terms of volume. And also if you've got anything in between them, such as hair, then that will cause issues with the volume as well. Also, I found that when I look side to side, Quite often the side which I'm looking away from, that pad will actually stop making contact with my ear as well as the other one. And so that will cause vo volume differences. Now being glasses, there is obviously the glasses component for these as well. And the glasses I found are really good. So you've got four different lenses. I quite like the blue lens, which is this one. You do also have the options of the Moonstone Grey, which is also polarized. The crystal clear I think it was and the amber yellow so the yellowy style glasses and they're all really good they're all really good quality they all feel great they all look great the only thing I wish they had included is photochromatic lenses lenses such as with the riders range those photochromatic lenses are amazing I wish that OptiShocks had those maybe in a future gen future generation they might create them and that's one of the problems with the glasses. So since you've got the set lenses, if you're wearing one of the darker lenses, like the blue or the gray, and then you go indoors, obviously you're gonna have to take the glasses off 
and you're gonna stop listening to whatever it is you're listening to. There is one little fix for this, which is that you can tilt your glasses up and then you can get the pads to kind of touch your ear. The audio from that though isn't that great. It's, it is actually a lot bassier, but if you're in an environment where there's any sort of ambient noise, you're not really gonna hear much. Now changing the lenses is quite easy. Uh, I was watching some reviews for the revs in the past and people were saying that the lenses fell out too easily. Well, they've definitely fixed that. It's actually a little bit tough to get lenses out. So you've got to squeeze the middle section and then get the lens to detach from the middle section. There we go. It'll make some creaking sounds. Don't worry. Then you need to bend the edge so that you separate the glass. And this is where I get kind of scared that I'm going to break it. And that separates the lens from the frame itself. Then putting a new lens in, it's easy enough. Just got to get the lens into the little snappy bits, align it along the top of the frame, get it in the other side, which requires a little bit of pushing and bending. And that's the tough bit and then get it back on the nose piece. You do get a lot of fingerprint smudges on the lens when you're doing a lens change. So the actual build quality of the frame and the lenses is really good. Uh, it's nice and strong, it's nice and sturdy. It does have a few creaks when you're changing the lenses, but that's fine, you just gotta kinda get used to that. Although I'm not particularly a fan of the type of plastic that they used. It's a very shiny, sort of almost cheap looking plastic. I prefer the sort of matte color look. Maybe that's something that they can do in future models. So as I mentioned, one of the problems of having an audio sort of headphones integrated into glasses means that you can't necessarily keep listening to them everywhere. Going indoors, you have to take the glasses off. Unlike with the Aftershocks range where you can wear this pretty much anywhere. And I typically wear it everywhere. So they're not a replacement for your everyday headphones definitely not a replacement for those. What they are a replacement for is if you've got a pair of glasses and you want to listen to music, you don't have to carry two things. You don't have two things that you need to worry about. You just have them all in one great package. So the sound quality when running, it's actually pretty good. If I don't bounce around, the sound doesn't change. Once you've got them in place, they just work really well. They're really good for running, cycling, any sort of outdoor activity or even some indoor exercise activities as well. But if you're in a loud environment or you just want to have them on all day, then they're probably not the best option for you. If you want to keep listening to music all day, you're better off going for the aftershocks. In terms of battery life, they're actually really good. They say on the package that they're rated for about six hours of use time. Although on the Friday when I got them, I put them on, I was, I, had them, I was in my office, so I had to wear them on top of my head, but I was listening to music for most of the day. I'd stop it every now and again, and then most of the evening. I didn't charge it once, and it was probably working, I would have thought, more than six hours. But you're going to get at least six hours of battery life from these guys. Another little interesting thing which I found out with these is because each of the pads is specifically activated, that means that if you're running with friends or cycling with friends, you can actually just deactivate one of the pads. It doesn't actually stop the audio from coming out of the pad, but it means that it's not making contact with your ear, and as such, you're not going to get audio from that pad into your ear. Therefore, you can listen to music on one side and have your friend on the other. So obviously the benefit of having bone conduction headphones rather than regular headphones which go in your ear is that it leaves your ear open. So you can hear traffic, you can hear approaching people, uh, bikes, cars, if you're cycling, or even if you're running, you can hear people coming up behind you. You can hear the, the bell of a bike as it's coming up behind you so you don't accidentally run out in front of it. If you do any sort of running or cycling, commuting into work or wherever you go, then these sorts of things, the aftershocks or the optishocks, are essential if you do want to listen to music. And they're the sort of thing that you can wear anywhere, even in social settings, because you can hear other people around you. So if you're doing, if with your work or with your socializing, you wanna be able to listen to music, but you also wanna be able to hear others around you, then 
these are great. So, are these OptiShocks revs worth the purchase? I think absolutely. They're a great quality audio. Uh, I think they're actually an improved audio over the Aftershocks. And as a set of glasses, they're awesome. So if you're someone who does exercise or something where you would wear glasses, but you also want to have audio, then these are an excellent purchase. I'll leave a link to where you can get them in the description box below. Are they a replacement for other headphones or the other Aftershocks range? No, they do a good job, but the Aftershocks shocks range is something that I can wear anywhere, including indoors. So these are specifically for use when you're actually gonna be doing outdoor exercise where you don't have to interrupt taking off your glasses. To check out my other review of the Aftershocks, I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.